Well, hi, YouTube. I'm Doug Jr. And I'm Doug the Third. And you're watching Doug, Doug and Doug, Doug Gaming. Gaming. There's like 18 zombies over there. We have to get going. I don't, I don't think I need to go anywhere. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have to go anywhere? There are 18 zombies over there. You're going to die. I've got the tool to fix everything right here. The, 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 the tool to fix everything. That's a screwdriver. Yeah, it is in fact a screwdriver. How are you gonna, how are you gonna kill all the zombies with a screwdriver, dude? You have to get out of here. We're gonna die. That's a good point. You know what? I'm gonna fix this. You're gonna fix it. Right now. How are you? Oh, gosh! See, the thing is, I don't have to kill or outrun the zombies. I just have to outrun you. What? Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to Doug and Doug Gaming. You may have noticed we have an extra person here. Her name is not Doug. This is actually my youngest daughter, Brittany. Say hello, Brittany. Hello. All right, Brittany's gonna help us out because today we are covering a game that requires three people. And it's another Kickstarter game. It's put out by a company called Last Ditch Games and it's called Bullets and Teeth. Oh yeah. It's a zombie game. Zombies? We do like zombie games. We there's like a lot of zombies. zombie games out there, but you know, I think there's room for but, more. Yes. And this is actually a card game and it's designed to be a very quick playing, light game. I would call it a filler game. Yeah. Um, but very briefly, what's going to happen, and you'll just watch us play through and we'll learn as we go, but there's two different decks. There's the Teeth deck and the Bullets deck. The Bullets deck are good things that you want. They have traps, they have uh, supplies, and they have weapons. And they're all designated by being different suits, so they're all different colors. You've got orange, purple, and green. The teeth deck are the zombies and some locations. Mm -hmm. And the locations cause bad things to happen. The zombies are zombies, and they some of those have special abilities as well. Yes. One person is going to be the bait. This is the bait card. Uh, we determined earlier, uh, according to their rules, the person that last touched a cat is the bait at first and that is Brittany. We don't have a cat so she no, was at a friend's don't. house and she was able to touch a cat. So she yes. wins that honor of being the first person and being the bait. The bait is the only person that the zombies will eat. Yes. All of the rest of us are safe. However, the bait card moves around. Every time the person who is the bait has a turn, they pass it to the person on their right. Which is indicated by this little arrow here, which is very nice. We had some complications with that earlier, but <laughs> we figured it out. I get confused sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> now, gameplay proceeds to the left or clockwise, mm -hmm. as is normal in most games. So, uh, you ha kind of have this interesting dynamic of the bait card going this way, the gameplay going this way. Well, Mixes well, it up quite well, actually. Now, we start out by getting it. five bullet cards apiece. Two. Two. two, two. There's three. 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 There's four. four. There's five. five. This is definitely yeah, not a cooperative game. No, we are not. playing against each other and we'll throw each other under the bus at any moment. Uh, that's why we have traps that we can throw on each other. Now, do they have buses in this game we can throw? I don't know that they actually have buses or not, but no. uh, anyway. Now, Brittany's first, so her turn is going to consist of, first of all, drawing a bullet card, which is going to add to her hand. And secondly, she's going to draw a teeth card and she's going to lay that in what we call our horde yes. area. I got, and the horde's gonna grow. I got 
Crows of Murder, it says, uh, for the bait, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, all Crows of Murder can't kill you this turn. All right, so you can sacrifice only of your cards to be protected from the Crows of Murder. It doesn't kill them, mm -hmm. but it will protect you from them. And then I, uh, I discard wrong turn. Okay, so you're just discarding a card. Yep, I'm just discarding And that. you are safe. And your turn is over. Now, bait goes to the right. Yeah. Gameplay goes to the left. So it's my turn. I'm going to draw a card from the bullet pile. And also, I should have mentioned that at the end of your turn, you have to discard down to five cards. However, yes. you, only, have you only have five, so you're good. So we have five. But should you end up with more, you do have to discard down to five. Yes. And so I've got my bullet card. I'm going to add to the hoard now. These are the Shamblers. 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 That's, like a, to this. that's like a bluegrass band, right? Could be. Probably. Now, they're not going to come after me because I'm, the, I'm not the bait. However, I could do something to make life a little more difficult for my opponents. Um, I could do something like... I could wild away the other. I could do that. I had to. Well, I may do this. I'm not sure how this will turn out. I'm going to play blindside. This says to choose an opponent, pick a card at random from their hand, and play it immediately, even if you couldn't normally play it. So, I'm going to say, Brittany, hold your cards up. I'm going to take a random card. No, and not that one. You just want a brand new ah, card. Now, it says to play it, uh, even if I couldn't normally play it. So, I'm actually going to be helping out somebody else. It says... Uh, it's Old Faithful, the shotgun or the gun. Yeah. Kill up to two zombies. Okay. Zombies with the same names as the zombies you killed can't kill you this turn. Which wow. means that I will discard this. We're going to kill two zombies. There and that kind of puts Douglas in a good that position was, because he's next. Thank you, sir. You're a fine man. A good man. I like your mustache. And so now we're going to... Oh, no, no, you gotta have your turn right first. Okay, I can't carry no, you away. Draw your bullet card. The mustache distracted uh, me. So yeah. I'm gonna draw my bullet card. And uh, whoa. and now I'm gonna draw my tooth card. My teeth card, if you will. Teeth. Um, I only have one tooth. Well, this is a panic room. So it's at the beginning, at the... Let me sound it out. <laughs> at the very beginning of each survivor's turn, they become the bait. Bum, bum, oh. bum. So now we're gonna basically pass the bait card, the bait card around yeah, until yeah. until this location is gone, um, yeah. which would require a new location to take its place. Yes. Um, or certain cards can mm -hmm. get rid of it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> what I'm going to do? I'm 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 in a good place because we don't have any zombies right now. So give right. me a little bit of breathing room. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of look around, see what I got as far as what I can do to you guys or something like that <laughs> so i think what i'm going to do is uh i am simply going to yeah all right so i'm going to use a trap i assume because there's not no much else to, to do about. yeah yeah exactly mm -hmm. um it's called Dinner Bill. Has a little picture of a little guy hanging upside down and doing a sick flip or whatever. Um, says, an opponent of your choice adds two teeth to the horde. Mm. And I'm going to bestow, bestow, bestow that card upon my sister Brittany there. So she's going to draw two uh, zambies and put them on the board. Scabby Tabby. Scabby when tabby. you add Scabby Tabby to the horde, you become the bait. Yeah. And another scabby tabby. Two scabby tabby. All right, you are the bait. Hand her the card. All right. She would have been anyway. Yes, exactly. But uh, that's all right. Now you've got less five cards. Five yeah, cards or less. I got five cards. Right. I'm good. good. I am Gucci. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, put down. Got crows of murder. Again. Okay. Again with the crows. Right. Um, I'm going to... And they have a special instructions for bait, mm -hmm. which I forgot. Yeah, discard, you can discard a card. That's right. Discard a card. Discard a card to make them ineffective. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to use Improv Maltov. Okay. Uh, discard the location if, if any. Uh, okay. Yeah. Kill up to two zombies. There right. you go. So we're going to get rid of the thing, which is good, because now yeah. the bait card will not... Be passed around every single turn. Yes. And get rid of two zombies. And then I'm going to use my duct tape. 
Oh, wrong. Am I? I don't know. Yeah. Do I uh, really You do? can do that if that's what you're Well, well you have the choice. You could yes. use your duct tape, which would allow you to use another card, another color, which I don't know if any, any of your different colors are going to help you here. Or you can just discard a card to protect you from... And when, when I use my duct tape, I get another... Well, uh, that's true. You can get another too. card if you would like to do that. Did not help me. Maybe it did. I'm going to use Secret Stash. And uh, it says, draw two bullet cards. Don't discard it into your, at the end of your turn. Okay. This is, I, do I discard? Put that there. Yeah, right? you don't discard. Yeah. Like if you have more than five cards, I guess you don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put a zombie from the horde on top of the teeth deck. There you go. Boom. You have survived. Okay. All right, cool. All nice. right, so now, this is kind of funny because this is skipping me. So yeah. it goes back to Doug. <laughs> it goes right back to me. Your Which, turn's over. Yeah, whatever. And, um, uh, so first I'm going to draw? Well, what? actually, it's no? my turn. Oh, derp. I forgot. Because the bait Cause is the bait goes the that thing. way. And oh. gameplay goes this way. Yeah. Now, I'd like to specify real quick. The instructions for the game are extremely clear. They have done a very good... They, <laughs> they, they are. Really, yeah, they've done a really good job making sure everything's really easy to clean to read and... and so, just so what are you saying if, is if we mess up, it's totally our fault. Yeah, yeah, that's just us being us. Yeah. But All right, anyway, go ahead. so I got my bullet card. I'm going to put a teeth card. We're going to have a little horde going here. Crows of murder are Again. back. Why do we they get them a lot? Them. I kind of like them, though, because you always have that last option of discarding against yeah. them yeah. to protect you. Even if you don't kill them, you can protect yes, against exactly. them. And uh, I'm not the uh, bait, bait, so they're not going to get me anyway. But I think... I will play. Hmm. Yes. He's a thing. Thinking. I will play my bag of kittens and discard the top two cards of the teeth deck. So we'll just discard uh, the hoarder, which would have come out, which they're nasty, and toxoplasm. So yeah, get to skip those at least for now. Okay. Cool. All right, so my turn now? So now it's your turn. All right, so let's do a little thinking here. So yes, I am currently being attacked basically by the uh, Crows of Murder. So I'm... Well, you always draw your bullet card that first. That's true. Thank you for reminding me. i draw that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you always mm -hmm. draw the teeth card second. Because you true. may have more to worry about. That's true. Uh, yes, I do. Estate of Decay. It's a location. Mm. It says... When a state of decay is added to or discarded from the horde, everyone must must discard until they have the same numbers of cards as you. Well then, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six cards. Oh, well then. So that's that's okay for me. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, We're both fine. But wow, that's. Huh. How many cards do you have? Four. Four. Okay. Well, all right. Well, yeah, it could be could be worse. Um, right off the bat, I am. Gosh. Okay, I really want to sit because I have some good cards. I'm. You guys can uh, see these. I don't want to let the others see them, but these two cards I'm really liking, and I want to save them. So, um, I'm going to just play my duct tape, not as an actual card, but I'm just going to play that to. You're uh, just discarding it. Yeah, just to shoo away the birds. So I'm, okay. uh, I'm content shoo with the that birds. for my for my turn. All right. So, so bait goes here. Yeah. Gameplay goes to Brittany. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So my bullet. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we got toxoplasm. Hmm. When you add toxoplasm to the horde. Uh, return all toxoplasms from the discard pile to the horde. Hmm. Well, there's one. I think that's the yes. only one. Let's see. Toxo, 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 toxo. Yep, that was the toxo, only one. Toxo, toxo, toxo. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to use a trap, uh, the Foot Locker. Choose an opponent, an opponent. They must discard a weapon from their hand or become the bait. Doug? Yes. You'll become the bait. No. Well, yes. he's got. I think he's got the choice. <laughs> he can discard a weapon from his hand, or he yeah. can become the bait. 
Man. Man, that, that's tricky. Neither, neither one's a good option. No. Yeah. And I have two very good weapons. I just showed these guys. Um, I'll discard this one. No, you don't want to be the bait, huh? No, I don't want All to. All right. That All right, so. soon enough. So Brittany's turn is over. Yep. Gameplay goes to me. Yes, it do. I'm going to draw a bullet. And now Dad has three Zambies after him at the Two. moment. Might have more here in just a moment. Another Toxoplasm. Wow. All right. So. so Three, four zombies. Um, well, I have some pretty good cards here, so I think I'll be all right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to play my my six shooter. Allows me to kill up to three zombies. So three these guys zombies. are gone. Wow. Then I can either discard to protect against them or kill them. And I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play my Improv Molotov. Yeah. That way we can discard the location. Okay. Yeah. However, when you discard the location, when it's discarded from the horde, mm -hmm. everyone must discard until they have the same number of cards as me. Which means everybody's going to get down to four cards if you're not there already. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I'm good. But it also, because oh, I played no. that, I get to discard the oh, yeah. uh, Crows of Murder. Yeah. And... You're now the bait. Ah. I will say, compared to, the last, compared to the last game, we are actually doing really well. <laughs> <good. laughs> much better. Because last yeah. game, that was over real quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go on. All right. Go on. It's your turn. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Show is. So, I'm going to draw me a bullet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a teeth. Oh, no. The Hoarder. Ooh. And she, according to a card, it says, when you add Hoarder to the Horde, add two more teeth to the Horde. So that's right. going to be there. Oh, welcome back, guys. They're going to be there. And even more of them are going to be here. All righty. Crows of murder. Yes. Just stack those crows up. There you go. All right. So, uh, let me see. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not really in line of threat right now, but Brittany is. And seeing as how it's not a cooperative game, I'm going to use a trap. It's called Wrong Turn. It says put a card from the teeth discard pile on top of the teeth deck or add it to the hoard. Hmm. So I'm going... To kind of see what we got going on here. I believe you got to take it from the discard pile. Oh, discard, pile. derpy, 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 derpy. Which actually, you know, that's potentially more uh, threatening on her part. Um, yeah, I'm looking, and I'm gonna be a big old jerkwad and lay down toxoplasm. Okay. Yeah, and according to their rules, it says whenever they are put into the horde, you take all of the toxoplasms in That's the true. discard pile and you add them. Because I am mean. Yeah. So, that's going to make a total of six Zambies for you. There you go. And my turn is over. So. Okay. Yeah. What you going to do? What you going to do? Anyway, a little musical number there. Okay. I know what I want to do. Okay. Okay. I'm not using that. Okay. Crows of murder. More crows of murder. Actually, over here. Yeah. Crows that's... of Mordor. Crows okay, of... so right. I'm going to do this. Yes. This, I'm going to do use my bag of kittens. It's. Hey. Yes. You're discarding it or are no, you? No, I'm using it. You're using it. it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so the crows of murder cannot. It says the zombies with the same name as the discarded zombies can't kill you this turn. Mm -hmm. Crows of murder can't kill me. Okay. Fields uh, and the location, of course, can't okay. kill me. But and then I'm gonna use it again. Oh. Shamblers, we don't have any. Shamblers, we don't have any. And I'm gonna use it again! I heard this. <laughs> again. This happened in the Shamblers! She's collecting kittens. Yeah. Lost it. Oh, man! Ugh. Wait. 
Now we know during the apocalypse what she's so, going to be doing. We're all going to be surviving. Pros of murder can't kill me. And that's it. But I'm gone because I have no weapons. So, so you're only protector from crows of murder, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're out, but that means your bait card goes to Doug. Yes, it do. Yes, and it do. gameplay goes to me. Yes, it do. it do. Why you do this to me? Because I'm me. And That's we're going to play do. this out here. So let us do that. Yeah. I'm going to take my bullet card mm -hmm. and then I'm going to add a teeth card, Toxoplasm. Wow. And I don't think there's any left in here no, now because no, we already took them out. I'm going to go sit so, over here. Okay, bye. I'm on the couch. Have fun. Don't knock anything over. Um, all right, so I took my bullet card and I added the teeth card. So now I've got to see if I can survive. Yes. The only way I can survive is perhaps I'm going to play the duct tape. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take another bullet card. All right. Then. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be close, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna play the improv Molotov, which lets okay. me discard the location and kill up to two zombies. Okay. So I could kill two zombies. Okay. Actually, I may be okay. Then I'm gonna play my six shooter. So okay. that's me kill three zombies. Okay. If I kill these three, mm -hmm. then I can discard a card to, and I'll discard that, which will protect me against these guys. They're not dead, okay. but I'm protected against them. And I survived another round, hmm. but I wasn't the bait. No, you weren't. So now it's my turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a bullet. I should have killed all those zombies. Those were yours. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, and draw a two. Wow, welcome back. <laughs> so that's going to go there. And that's going to go there. So now we have four sets of Crows of Murder, one Hoarder, and one group of Shamblers. Wow, so this is looking sticky. Um, man, all right. So I guess first thing... Oh, man, okay. There's so much I want to do. Um, okay, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to play my duct tape. I'm going to do that. That's going to allow me to draw another bullet card. Uh, and essentially, I get to you know, re redo stuff, whatever. Um, yeah, so, oh man, I'm struggling so much now. All right. Because it's so close. It's really close. That's yeah. the thing. Um, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Well, I don't think I'm going to survive. Wait, no, I we'll might. Got. Actually, I might. Okay, okay. Let's do this. So. All right. I'm going to give away two of my blindside trap cards. That, that's going to be to get rid of two of these guys, to okay. make them not attack me anyways. All right. All right. Now, so let's just, just for vision's sake, let's put these over here just so I can keep them separated. I think though on these, you can discard a card from your hand. If you do, all crows of murder can't kill you. Oh, so you only have one. to discard one card and no crows of murder can kill you. So one card, you're protected from th four of those. Well then. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And, man, all right. Um, Cinch. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my six shooter and kill two of these. Now, this, this says I can kill up to three. Can I just go ahead and kill one of the Crows of Murder? Yeah. All right, let's yeah. do that. Just, you know, why well. not? All right, so that's... Okay. Whew. Now the bait card comes to, bait back to me. Going to you, buddy. Even though I acted like I was the bait while I go, but whatever, my fault. I wasted some energy on that and some cards. <laughs> but that's the price I'd get paid. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to add to the hoard. It's a scabby tabby. When you add scabby tabby, uh, you become the bait, which I'm already the bait, yes, so no problem. And 
I have very few options here. So he's got three crows of murder. And what I'm going to do heavy. is play my duct tape. All right. All right. Hopefully I'll get something. I did not, but I've got a secret stash so I can draw two more okay. right. um, cards. Mm -hmm. Need something good. All right. Okay. Uh, this card. I don't know why I'm worried for you. I'm against you right now. But, I know. You know. The slugger lets me uh, put a zombie. Of course, I can't play it anyway because I played a green card. Mm -hmm. So even if I could play it, it wouldn't be enough. Yeah. yeah. However, well, I played a green card. Okay. Okay. All right. All mm -hmm. right. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I can play the hasty barricade. It says choose a zombie. Zombies with the same name can't kill you. Mm. I choose Scabby Tabby. Okay. Because then I can discard any card. Yeah, and so they'll gonna, all be gone. And then the okay. that protects me from these guys. Yeah, all right. Well, You're the bait. Wow, all, all right. All right, sucker. <laughs> See what you can do Who are you calling now. sucker, sucker? All right, so I'm going to draw a card. Um, and now I'm going to draw a teeth card. Oh, no. All right. Okay, so... Toxoplasm. Toxoplasm. <laughs> Gosh. No. Yep. Is there more than just this? I don't I'll let think you, so. I'll, I'll look let real you quick. Look but... for those. Wow. That's uh, it. Gosh. This got real messy real quick. Um. Man, I might. I might. Man. Well, remember, one card can protect you from the crows of murder. Yeah. But you do have all the toxoplasm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And scabby it's, tabby. That I might be stumped here. Um, man. Uh, okay. I'm going to play my Snacrifice card. It says all zombies can't kill you this turn. Well, there you go. At the end of your turn, do not pass the bait card, though. Well, <laughs> okay. So... For right. the moment, this may help me. So, so your just, turn's it's over. Your, it's your turn now. Yeah. And it's my turn, but you're still the... So I'm kind of relieved, actually. Yeah. So I'm so going to add, gonna <laughs> add, hope, add a teeth card. Some more shamblers okay. come out to play. And I'm done. Oh, no, I get to play a card. Yeah. Uh, choose an opponent. They must discard a weapon from their hand or become the bait. Well, you're already the bait. Yeah. An opponent of your choice adds two teeth to the horde. Why don't you go ahead and add two teeth, add two to, the teeth to the horde? Can I do that? Can I really? Shamblers. Man, these, ah, uh, they add up so much. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to be out Now your turn begins. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And you have to add another teeth. Yeah, that's true. Shamblers. Shamblers. Shuffling. Man. Yeah, they were shuffled I, well. I was going to say, yeah, they're shuffled really well. I think there's just a ton of shamblers and a ton of crows. Um, all right, let me... Uh, let me do some thinking. All right. Okay, so... Um, man. I... I think I'm just straight up done. Um, but I'll go down fighting. Yeah. So, I'm going to use my six shooter card. It says kill up to three zombies. Alright. Um, I'll take care of the shamblers, I guess. Don't really matter at this point. Then, I'm going to use my improv Maltov. It says discard the location if there is any, and there's not. So it says kill up to two zombies. Personally, I think that would kill more than the gun would. Uh, two zombies, let's do... That one, and gosh, that one. All right. I'm going to sacrifice my blind side to get all the crows over here. And then, last but not least, my slugger. And I'm going to take out Tabby. Scabby Don't Tabby. One. Now, when I'm going down in the apocalypse, the last thing I'm going to do is get a bat and kill a cat. I have a slugger, too. Yeah. Um, I'm, I died, though. I'm done. I win. Woo, Daddy All righty. Well, we want to give a few final thoughts on the game Bullets and Teeth. Uh, we had a great time playing it, and we actually played it, I don't know, three or four times before yeah. we actually got one that we wanted to put on uh, camera. Yeah. I uh, had one game that was really short. Yes. 
But and but for fairness, that was not the fault of the game. The no. game actually just just getting right to the point. I guess the game played really really well. <laughs> well I enjoyed it, it. It's supposed to be a short it's, game. Yeah, too. it's like a yeah. filler game. Um, it says on here the uh, setup time is less than a minute, which it, it is, mm. and play time it says twenty minutes. And that's which the one that we finally put on camera was that I was think, about twenty minutes, right at twenty minutes. Yeah, so that's very accurate. Um, but of course that can change. Things can happen. Yeah. So first of all. Uh, this is a card game, so there's not much as far as components go. I will say that the cards are good quality cards. Mm -hmm. um, I actually uh, have a history of, uh, well, I used to be a, still am, I guess, a magician. Mm -hmm. Used to be full-time traveling, and uh, so I, I use cards a lot. Yes. And uh, to me, the texture, the finish is very important, and these are great cards. I can shuffle yeah. these, I can fan them, uh, that kind of thing. That Some of the games that we get, the... Uh, you know, the card surface, card finish is, well, that was, sorry, card finish. There you go. Uh, won't let you do anything. Yeah. But anyway, these are these are good cards, good quality cards. Secondly, yes. what do you think about the artwork? I was just about to say, I love the artwork. Yeah. It's, nowadays, you know, we have so much technology to wear. You know, you can find artwork online and do that stuff. But the, these are, this is art specifically for this game by the artists. And I love it, and it looks, it's all mixed well together while still keeping that creepy factor of the zombies, but then also keeping it cartoony enough to make it, you know, fun and lighthearted and stuff. But uh, I, I really, really enjoyed this game altogether. My, uh, my favorite card has got to be the bag of kittens. Bag of kittens. Yeah, you get yes. this uh, bag of big eyed kittens. That yeah. Are, you know, but hey, sacrifices must be made. Yes, they must. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's a good game. Gameplay was great. We, yeah. uh, we, we enjoyed it. Like I said, it's not a hard game. Uh, we, we may have made some errors. I think I know yeah. one error I made when I, I, uh, used all my cards to get rid of the zombies and I wasn't the bait and that was just because yeah, I wasn't paying well, attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now uh, gameplay is good. It's not a hard game at all. Something yeah. you can teach, uh, very, very easily. Yeah. Good icebreaker game. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I can highly recommend this. Now this game is currently on Kickstarter. Yes. And so they need your uh, help with not just getting the game funded, but uh, I believe it's already funded. To be act, uh, be honest with you, I have to check on that, double check on that. But um, regardless of that, uh, there are stretch goals to be met. Yes. And those make the games better. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then the third thing is that if you want a copy of this, you'll want to go ahead and get it on Kickstarter because yep. once they come out. I mean, they will eventually hit retail, I know, but... But why not get a copy before everyone else, <laughs> exactly. before the stores? Make sure you have a copy in yes. case they do run exactly, out. So, exactly. lots of reasons to back this. So, check it out on Kickstarter. Yeah. You can and do a search under Bullets and Teeth. Yeah. yeah, and then also we will have the link for that down in the description below. So, let's go click it. Um, while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button and like and share and comment because we love to hear from you guys and we really want to make you guys happy. We're almost at 100 subscribers, by the way, yes. which for most YouTubers, I'm going to try not to rant, but for most YouTubers, it's like, ah, 100 subscribers. But for us, you know, we means never... a lot. Yeah, that's, that means a lot to us. You know, we never intended to be YouTubers or anything. That was it's just, 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 just something we like to do we and like to do like share it yeah. with you guys. So thank you so much for the support, by the way. Definitely. So check out Bullets and Teeth, Last yes. Ditch Games, right now on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time with a cool playthrough and some review and talk and maybe an unboxing. Who knows what's coming up next? Ah, we don't. But for now, you've been watching Doug and Doug Gaming. Doug and Doug Gaming.